what is going on my fine and my divine feminine it is scorpion reds i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what the daily bread is for tomorrow thursday april the 25th and friday the 26th shout out to all my beautiful beautiful subscribers what's up what's up what's up to all my new subscribers thank you guys for holding it down for me and clicking this video yes indeed all right if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading with scorpion red tarot you can do so by clicking that about tab first thing you need to do is hit that uh booking link which says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again at scorpion reds tarot at simply book me once you select the type of reading that you want you need to select the video platform for us to connect face to face for our video reading i only do video readings if you do not want to get on camera face to face all right you can send um an additional ten dollars which there's a ten dollar ten dollar additional add-on fee if you would like a direct private personal upload to youtube instead of getting on camera with me all right if you do want to get on camera with me all right send me a message on instagram the link is in the about tab or you can send me a message on google hangouts with my email at scorpionreds at gmail.com so again book the reading and then select your video platform have it be instagram which the link is in the about tab or google hangouts which you can use my email scorpionreds at gmail.com if you do not want to get on the video reading again there's a ten dollar additional fee which you will see the add on selection in the menu for the booking okay so i hope that makes sense to you guys all right so if this video um resonates and if you want to send some love to the page you can do so as you guys can see i've been buying more and more more decks more and more equipment trying to make the experience here better so if you want to um send a little love to the page you can do so um my paypal is in the description as well as in the about tab as well all right so let's get into the reading father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the divine fine feminine thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've been bringing into our life, please give us guidance for Thursday and Friday, April the 25th and the 26th. Thank you so much for carrying us on your back at times when we feel like our ankles and our feet were too weary and we couldn't walk a step more. Just thank you so much, Father, for all of the blessings that you've been giving us. Please give the Divine Feminine guidance for Thursday and Friday, April the 25th and 26th. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you, Father. Please give us guidance. All right. So let's get into it. All right. Please give us guidance for the Divine Feminine. What is it says? Nature communication. Nonsense. Being able to speak up and tell somebody to. You talking a whole bunch of bullshit. Y'all better not be holding your tongue back from nobody. You know? Especially if you feel like someone's being aggressive towards you. Mm-mm. But at the same time, what I just got and what I just heard in my head is you guys saying that certain people to you are not worth even giving your in energy to to tell them that, you know, that they're talking nonsense. Some people are just not worth your energy, period. And I, I listen, I totally get you. But there's a group of people that need to stand up to certain people. Right? And it's also... Up, up here, someone is not listening to that communication from nature. Ten of Swords, the world. Mm hmm. Yeah, someone is telling me down here on Friday, they ain't got no time to be sitting up there going back and forth with nobody telling them that they talking some nonsense because their world is moving forward. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Either you get it or you don't. You know, okay? Either you get it or you don't. And up here, what I'm getting is someone is not hearing um, the communication from nature because they're in their mind still thinking about how um, everything that they worked towards in the situation was shattered to pieces. And they just can't get it. They just can't get that off of their mind. 
well-deserved rewards. Yeah, you need to get yourself grounded so that you can receive that. Feeling alone, yeah. Your chakras, yeah, you need to get yourself rooted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys need to get yourself grounded. Mm -hmm. Well-deserved rewards. Yeah, you're, you're, the rewards and everything is coming in. You got to listen to the nature's communication with you when they're trying to tell you, baby, you need to get over, you know, thinking about these broken pieces. You know, you're not broken. You're not broken. That situation broke for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow mental thoughts and you keep playing over and over and over gone. Yeah, the nine of cups, you just just unhappy. The nine of wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of nines. You need to you need to go. This is this last stage of completement. Of completion. You know, you're at that last step. You're at the tail end of this journey, ladies. Nine, nine, and nine. A whole bunch of nines. You hear me? A whole bunch of nines. So, that's two nines. And then, you know, the number five right there. Okay? You know, that means travel. means adapting. Being quick-witted. You know? Being able to quickly adapt to changes and challenges that come your way. Feeling free. You know what I'm saying? Instead of looking at this as feeling alone, look at this as freedom. What does it say? Incubation. Incubation. Doves. Peace. Hmm. Hmm. Not a good page. Not a good page. Look, Divine Feminine is saying they're doing anything for cloud out here. They're doing anything for cloud. She said they're using my name for clickbait. I need to write a blog at this rate. <laughs> I need to write a blog at this rate. They're using my name for clickbait. On Divine Feminine, they're using your name for clickbait. The moon. Do anything for cloud. Uh, I said a grouch. Really getting that even though that you might be going through up uh, with this patience, mm hmm, being impatient, not trusting that brilliant idea that you got. Yeah, I'm feeling like right now with that incubation with them eggs, right now, I feel like. You still cooking right now. It's not time for you to bust through these eggs right now. With that moon, I feel like you need to continue to trust your intuition and you're being you're being called. You're being called. You just need to be patient. The Queen of Swords. The magician. Mm-hmm. 
All right, you guys, let's get into the reading. So, let's see. For the, what, the 25th, which is Thursday of April, okay? The center energy is nature communication, flower energies, uh, fairy energies, elemental messages, okay? So, you guys have been seeing some fairy like like little like have you been seeing like little flying orbs just flying around or something like that or maybe you see um like a group of flowers like blooming in your yard or something and you just seem so attracted to look at that flower and it's just progression every day like how it just gets bigger and bigger it's like you'll go you'll go to work and you'll see the flower and it was just a bud and then you come home and it's just like fully bloomed. You just like, God damn, how the fuck did it just do all of that? I've just been to work. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the same stages as your yard and in, in, in the spring is bringing to blossom a lot of flowers. I feel like you're getting a lot of message through, um, you know, the nature elements. And I, and, and I feel like you're kind of blocking the communication let's see what it says let's see what it says oh and it to right on the page okay come on father get me right where i need to be it says stubbornness refusing to approach language from a different perspective assuming signs and communication must fit in with your own assuming things about other beings without really tuning in refusing to expand your capacity for understanding again stubbornness refusal to approach language from a different perspective assuming signs and communication must fit in with your own assuming things about other beings without really tuning in refusing to expand your capacity for understanding now in the upright let's see what the true definition for this card means since you are being asked not to make assumptions be open to possibilities that seem to be outside rational expectations. Attempt to communicate with beings from other realms, within nature, spiritual plants, or even just humans. It is just thought there is no chance of speaking or even being understood by. Okay? Be open and express the desire for communication. Be more lateral and less literal about the ways of communication and how it can take place be a being worth communicating with this will go far okay so what this is basically telling me right now is that you guys are in the reverse now you guys feel like people that are outside your realm of spectrum of who you think that you are what you desire and where you think you you, you you're kind of a little bit a, you know pouring a little bit too much into your cup you see what i'm saying where you don't you you might be turning your nose up to people that are a little bit different than you and not open to try you know get to know different people and different things and i feel like this is going to get in your way not only is that getting in your way but your mental thoughts you're too focused on being broken right now that's all your mind is consuming you with right now is being broken not only are you not understanding and getting nature's communication with you when they're trying to tell you that you're growing and grow with the universe be open to new things be open to new people you know even though you might not have normally hung with these people for some reason if the doors are being open to this communication there must be something worth communicating about be something worth and worthy of communication you know, like you can't just block things because that's just like, you know, something that you think you're worthy of getting to know and someone blocking you out because they're not used to you. Someone like you, someone has been through what you've been through or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're a little different than what the hell they're used to. You wouldn't want no one to treat you in that type of judgmental capacity. So open up your perspective. 
broaden your horizons. And not only that, if you continue to think about being broken, you're going to stay broken. You're not broken. Okay? Those pieces were meant to be shattered so they could be, all right, welded down into a brand new fine piece of tulery. God is giving you a new tool. It's time for you to use it. You know what I'm saying? Stop clouding your mind. Stop focusing on the broken pieces of the past. That chapter is over. You know? And you get yourself grounded. You're not able to get your well-deserved rewards because you're not rooted. What you're rooted in is thinking about misery from past experiences. That's not where you're at anymore. And not only that, you're blocking off people that could be a blessing to you that could teach you something about things from a different perspective because y'all are different. You know? Just because you're a human and they're a flower doesn't mean that they don't deserve the same love, the same attention, the same. Doesn't mean that they don't, that they deserve less sun than you do as a human. Doesn't mean they deserve less food than you do as a human. Doesn't mean that they deserve less attention as you as a human. You know? They need the same attention from God just the same as you do. You know, they have a purpose on this earth probably made way far greater than what you do. You know, we running around here. We choose what we do. We just live them. But if they don't live, if they don't have the communication with the divine, if they don't thrive, if they don't do and pollinate and, and you know, a lot of things that we find very um precious and that we don't have to pay for like oxygen and you know to soil and and, and and vegetables and things these things wouldn't be able to grow they wouldn't be able to thrive they wouldn't be able to be if it wasn't for these flowers so you have to give respect to the universe you have to give respect to nature and then when nature is calling and talking to you and saying look baby i'm growing it's time for you to grow too you know Understand my communication. Understand the purpose for me being here just as much as you being here. Don't turn your nose up at something just because it's different. Because you would be unhappy if someone turned their nose up to you. You know? If you offered someone nine of cups and then they turned it over and said, nah, uh, you too different. That, that doesn't bring fulfillment to me. That will bring you a lot of pain and unhappiness. You understand? And something that, you know, left you in broken pieces is blocking this well-deserved reward and the true happiness that you, that you need, you know? You need to get your mind around from this and find that happiness within, find that fulfillment within, you know what I'm saying? Hear nature's call, hear nature's communication, okay? Right now... This is, you know, there's eggs. There's eggs, okay? And you know that means new birth. So there's something cooking in an oven, okay? There is something cooking in an oven, okay? Something incubating, something growing within. So you have to be, you know, that newfound blessing that's growing from within these eggs, these beautiful eggs, okay? And when you emerge from these waters, these spiritual waters, you need to come out and you need to come out knowing, loving, you know? Be able to self-nurture, to self-guide, to self-lead just like the high priestess who is also birthed within these spiritual waters under the moon. You are being called. You are being rebirthed. Okay? Well, you will be able to teach, just like the high priestess. So, what you need to do is understand and appreciate this moment of alone time. Appreciate this moment of alone time because soon, very soon, you will be called. You will be called. And you will not have that incubation period. You will not have, you would have to learn everything that you needed to learn and grow as much as you needed to grow during that incubation time. Because when you be called, it's no time to want to go and be alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
it's time to, to come out and show. So you need to figure out whatever it is that you need to do to stop thinking about these things that are triggering you to think back to this past unhappiness because it's blocking your excuse me your well-deserving rewards and it's keeping you unhappy you have to be able to follow your intuition all right right now it's not time for lack of patience right now it's time for you to incubate and grow and it will be listen when it's time you'll know what time it is when it's time, you'll know what time it is. It says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Do you understand? Still, they need nurturing and patience. It needs time to grow. So you can't be impatient. Everything happens in divine timing for reason. So right now, you know, I feel like you guys are being a little harsh on yourself. Because um, I feel like you feel like you don't know. Like you need to search further. You need to, you need to dig deeper. You need, you know, like it's something more to be found. It's something more to be discovered. And it's not, you know, it's really not. It's really not. What you need to do is understand it's not time for you to be in union right now. It's not time for you to be in union right now. It is time for you to finish growing so that you can come out of this incubation stage. That's when the true happiness be there just because you're alone right now you know you're alone right now with your thoughts i need you to change your thoughts into something more positive because as you can see right behind this union is the moon your intuition is going to guide you to an appropriate and healthy successful union right now is not the time for that okay right now is not the time for that because even if God tries to send you something that's a little bit different, that's on this speed of who you are today, of how you're going today, you won't even be able to recognize it because you're too busy looking at the differences. You see? So it's time for you to appreciate this incubation stage. Okay? Because you are going to be called. And when it, and listen, and when that, when that moon... Calls you up out of that water. You see how that moon is calling that, that crab out, up out of that water? Or that lobster, whatever it is. When it's time to go, it's time to go. Okay? So it's not going to be no time for shucking and jiving and thinking about, oh, shit, you need to have to let that shit go and let that shit go. Okay? You got to let it go. Because it, it, you don't want Because it, even the, um, the queen of swords, she's a loner. She's a widow. Or well, she's just by herself. She's not known to be married. And you might be a little bit angry about that. And you can't get your mind around why you can't have a successful union. Because right now you got to be patient. It's time about self-love. And I know y'all tired of hearing that. I, I do love myself. Yeah, okay, I understand that. <laughs> but God knows when you're ready. And when God feels like you're ready, he will make everything happen. When it's time to make it happen. Nonsense. Feeling alone. Nine of Wands, the Dove, Peace, the Six of Cups, thinking back to the past, brilliant idea, not using a brilliant idea of yours, the Magician, and the answer is yes. Like, listen, listen, 28, nonsense, okay, nonsense is the center of energy, okay, so this says, backing down at the moment of truth, running from confrontation, allowing someone to intimidate you and inability to find courage within, fearing punishment, loss of voice, believing you cannot be brave enough without being aggressive. Oh, okay, I get you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, this is what it is, okay? There might be a moment that, that may come sometime this week. Or, you know, this is timeless whenever y'all see this. Might be something that happens, okay? Where you're being confronted with something that you feel is a trigger and it's going to anger you to high passivity, but you might end up cracking someone right in the bridge of their nose. You know what I'm saying? Just, just right there. Just, you know, 
just bring it right on down and the bridge of their nose. You know what I'm saying? Just crack them one good time. And you know, that's why when I this car came out, I really heard like I ain't got no time to be telling nobody no goddamn nonsense. I ain't got I don't have no time for that. You know? Cause in the upright, this is someone who is courageously courageously standing up for themselves when someone is behaving in a way that is silly and unfair, refusing to be a coward. Pointing out a person's bad behavior, not backing down on the truth. Looking someone in the eye, being brave, strong, and no longer intimidating. Surprising yourself with your power. But y'all are saying, I already know I can cuss this motherfucker out if I really wanted to. I just feel like certain people are not worth my energy. They're just, because this is what Divine Feminine is telling me right now. And I'm going to keep it 100. This motherfucker wants me, regardless if... I respond aggressively or, you know, respond in a way where I'm giving them attention but not getting aggressive. The fact that I'm giving this motherfucker attention, period, is too much for me. And this motherfucker don't deserve none of my attention for me to tell them uh, nonsense or no nonsense. Like, they ain't getting shit from me, okay? Because I just don't have it to do. My world has moved on, my world does not consist of this shit no more. It does not. It does not. I'm trying to get my mind together. And it's like while Divine Feminine is trying to get their mind together, they don't need this person coming back in the flesh. Especially while they're feeling alone. And they're, you know, they're trying to get themselves centered and they're trying to get themselves grounded with this fact that they've been doing a solitude incubation period. They've been feeling alone. They processing these endings. Like this is basically just divine feminine processing all of this shit. And sometimes you really need to be alone. And it's and it's a hard period because it's like you don't want to be alone, but at the same time, you don't want no whole bunch of people around you at the same time, too. You just want all of this shit to be over and done with so you could just move on into happiness. And that's what you're doing. It's like I'm not listen. Especially because you're feeling alone and you're just trying to, you know, deal and figure out, figure out how to be in this new world. The last thing you need to be doing is getting yourself unrooted. Telling somebody off like they don't deserve my energy at all. Nine of Wands. Guard it. I done been through too many trials and tribulations with this motherfucker. I don't have no more energy to keep fighting with you or just to be dealing with you, period. Okay? So I'm standing my ground. Okay? I'm standing my ground and just saying, I don't want to deal with you, period. I'm not giving you my energy, period. Okay? I don't give a fuck how alone I feel. It ain't even worth the temptation of fucking with you on any level. Like, that's what Divine Feminine is saying. Listen. Look. <laughs> Divine Feminine is at peace. Even if she's alone, she's peaceful. So, I see someone trying to communicate with Divine Feminine Offer some eight of wands shit. You know what I'm saying? Offer the eight of wands. Sending a whole bunch of rapid communication. And divine feminine blocking this shit like eh. Like I done been through too many trials and tribulations with you. I'm standing my ground. I am not fucking with you type shit. Nah. You know? I'm at peace. I might be by myself but I'm fucking peaceful. Alright? Listen. I do have a lot of fond memories of you from the past. And I really do want a situation that you know when we share with each other where we grow with each other you know where i'm really able to kind of like you ever like meet someone and you don't know them at all but it feel like you knew them from sandbox type of shit and it's just like like almost like a kid like you got your little uh your little 50 cent icy and shit that little long ass you know 50 cent icy and shit like that you break that shit and have you get your little you know what i'm saying like yeah like you just yeah like you just want to share you just want to give you just want to skip and play along and and and, and 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 like plant a brand new life together like you want to get planted and rooted and y'all want to do this together like you want to do this together where someone just brings you peace and happiness. That's what you want. That's what you want. You feel me? So it's just like, yeah, like, 
whoever this is, especially if it's someone from the past coming back, that Divine Feminine is, de is deciding, look, I ain't even got the energy to tell you no now that I'm just straight up no nonsense, period. Like, I don't even have the energy to tell you nonsense. For real, for real. Like, that's an idea I should have listened to a long time ago. Just not to give you none of my fucking energy and just focus on me like shit and just be in my peace. Like, even if I'm alone, like, I'm good on my own. Like, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action and bring your idea into fruition. And listen... Especially, listen, and this is another thing. You, Divine Feminine, you, you are the magician. And Spirit is trying to tell you yes right now. So, there is something. That's right. Do not give into this nonsense. And there is something that you got brewing deep within. That Spirit is trying to tell you yes. That you have the power to manifest this. And to create whatever the fuck this idea is. If you don't go for it, Spirit is trying to tell you yes. This new world... It, it, it calls for you to feel alone. It calls for you to be alone and to guard yourself from anything that's taking you out of your peace. It's time for you to grow. Listen. Like we saying, listen to nature. It's time for you to plant new seeds with someone else. It is not time for none of this shit. And I'm so glad, Divine Feminine, that y'all have come to that conclusion that you don't even have it to do. You just really just don't even the fuck have it to do on no fucking level with this with nobody from the past at all. Or anyone that is just coming around with some bullshit ass energy. Divine Feminine does not have it to do at all. And they're not. You know, even though they want a union right now. And they're kind of upset that they're in this lonely period. And they're a little impatient because they want to see things, to, you know, break out of these eggs and start bringing them happiness. And the well-deserved boys that they feel like they deserve. And they're tired of thinking. Like, seriously. Divine Feminine is tired of keep thinking and going over and over and over and over. Everything that has been going on. And even with this moon up here in this incubation. Um, I feel like that there might have been some secrets that, had, that might have came out. You know? There might have been some secrets that might have came out. Okay? So, you have to get to the point where you're able to process that and not allow it to bring you unhappiness like this, you know? And I get it. It's just like you just, you, you, you're just you just impatient because you just want to get over this happy unhappiness. You just want to get over this unhappiness. You don't want to think about this shit no more. You don't want this shit in your energy no more. I get it. Like, I get it. I get it. But you have to you have to go with the flow of nature, baby. Give me some direct guidance for divine feminine and love for um Thursday and Friday. Give me guidance for divine feminine and love. What did you say? Ascending. That's good. Comic partner. What's up? What's, what's that? What's up? What's that? Shadow work. Okay. So what I'm getting here is... What? Where did this come from? This is not supposed to be in this deck. Okay. So basically what I'm getting here is... Your... For some reason, Divine Feminine, your thoughts have been in, uh, ascending in regards to this karmic partner. And you need to do some shadow work to figure out why your thoughts have been so consumed. Um, and it's been, you know, going up so much about this karmic partner, about this karmic person. So I don't know, you guys might be watching a lot of um, the readings about the twin flame, the karmic readings, or like what the divine masculine is doing with the karmic and shit like that. And you guys need to dig deep inside and figure out like what's going on with that. Like what's going on with that. Let's let's see what the spirit has to say. Please clarify ascending karmic partner and shadow work. Oh, all right. 
So I feel like the divine feminine is finally come to the decision mentally. You know, when she's taking, she should have set them swords down and she's taking that blindfold off. It's like, look, you know, I can't sit here and be blinded by this shit no more. I can't be, I feel like the divine feminine has seen everything that she needed to see. Or maybe, I mean, maybe she's taking the, maybe she took the blindfold off so that she could see to make a decision. There it is. Divine Feminine took the blindfold off so that she could see to make a decision on what to do. Mm -hmm. And whatever she's seen, she's seen that whatever type of battle and competition is going on, like she definitely don't want to be in the middle of that shit. Like that's one thing that has come very, very clear to her. Like it is way too many motherfuckers in this motherfucker equation, you know. And shoot, there's the karmic partner that was there when I left. There's somebody else. There's someone to the side of that. This mm -mm 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 -mm. no, 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 honey. I done seen everything that I need to see so that I can make the decision to move forward because this is not no goddamn shit that I want to deal with. Okay, this is a losing battle, and I don't even see me coming to no compromise in this situation right here. All right, so. Listen, I see that you done put the crown down, okay? Because whatever you seen when you took that blindfold off and you went searching and, and, and your and your thoughts and your your mind and your focus start because this is a lot of thoughts. These are all swords, these are thoughts, okay? So whatever you seen when you went searching and you found whatever it is that you needed to find about this karmic partner, okay? You seen that there's still a lot of lies. There's still a lot of mental manipulation. There's still a lot of shit that is just lurking in the shadows in regards to the situation. And I want to say that you don't see any happiness ever coming out of this situation. And I want to say that you are most definitely glad that you didn't dig that deep with this king of cups in reverse this is the king of cups in reverse yes with this king of cups in reverse you guys could be dealing with a cancer's uh pisces scorpio okay so i definitely see that once you took this blindfold off you seen that this fight is still going on and this fight has got to a level of treachery and just <sighs> deceit and just foolishness that you would have never stooped to. You would have never stooped to this. You would have never, ever, ever stooped to this. And you know that they, it, 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 you would never, ever truly know the whole truth about this situation. And it would have brought you just nothing but unhappiness. And I don't think that you were that impressed by this King of Cups anymore. I don't think that you're that, you know, but that's why I feel like you just wanted to, you wanted to know the truth, you know, you wanted to know the truth. I feel like that there were some, there were some things that were looming around that I want to say reopened the wound, possibly for you to have this ten of swords feeling backstabbed and betrayed, feeling all over again, because I want to say the Divine Feminine has been past uh, this stage. She was past this unhappiness because that uh, well-deserved reward is right there on the table, but something came out in the shadows with this moon here that um, she had lack, lack of patience and she wanted to know what was going on. She wanted to know what was going on. Please give me some last guidance for the Divine Feminine. Okay. Unlock the key. She unlocked the key to that rocket so she could truly go on this voyage now. I think the Divine Feminine has truly seen everything that she needed to see. She, she has the key now. Yeah. She got the key to that door. It's time for that transition. It's ashes to ashes, dust to dust. It was death to this. The pearl. All right, she got the hidden knowledge. She knows everything that she needs to know. You know, I truly feel like she's going on that. She's unlocked that door to that voyage to her becoming that true divine feminine, that true high priestess, that hidden knowledge. And I feel like throughout this experience here, you have been gifted a pearl of hidden knowledge, of intuition, and how to truly 
guide yourself and right now you're on a voyage and I feel like this voyage right here um is a special voyage that only you have the key to divine feminine okay you have a voyage that you're experienced right now where God is giving you the key to the door of, of hidden knowledge and it's unfortunate because this situation right here, had you not experienced this, had you not experienced this, okay, you would have never had the key to nature's communication. Don't block this communication, okay? Understand everything happens for a reason. And sometimes... Do a cracked egg, okay? Has the best protein and nourishment that you could ever have received, okay? Cracking an egg and cooking it, okay? And it looked like your ass had been cooked up enough, something to cook your ass, because something that triggered you. But at the end of the day, it's triggering you to complete this process. Whatever hidden knowledge that you received, whatever hidden gem or jewel that you received, it kicks you to take this damn blindfold off so that you can make the decision that you need to make to move forward and to go. Let me give you one more card and then I'm out. I don't want to make this too long, but I got to do it. It's got it. You know, the answer is yes. It's time to go on this voyage. You got the pearl. You got everything that you need. Okay. It's 10 stages. Your stage nine. You get me? Give the bottom feminine some last, last knowledge. Career transition. Your life purpose is triggered. It's trick. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. You guys are about to come into a lot of career transitions and finances and abundance. Okay. Let me see. The justice in reverse. The world in reverse. This is the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this career transition. And what I'm going to tell you in regards to this career transition. Listen. There was a big setback in your world. Because you feel like. There was a big setback in your world because I want to say for some of you guys, it could have been some type of child support or it could have been maybe some type of legal judgment or something that came down on you where you feel like it set your world back. Or um, maybe you guys had to do a payout, a big payout that you feel like set your world back. And you, you feel like whatever that judgment was, uh, it just kind of fucked you up. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, maybe in a divorce or something like that, maybe you guys had to split up some assets to just do something that maybe you felt like you was going to come off a little bit better than you, you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you, whatever it was, you feel like there was a financial setback in your life. But God wants you to know there is, listen. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Whatever you've been doing financially, the that chapter is closing. Okay? There's this this thing that you've experienced. This thing that you've experienced is triggering a lot in you that has changed a lot in you that is about to open up the doors for a lot of things that you never even imagined. One of them is a big change in your career. It is coming. A chapter to whatever, whatever unjustified financial struggle, whatever unjustified financial judgment, whatever unjustified financial strife that has been looming over your world that you felt like has been setting you back where you have not been able to move forward. A transition is happening in your career well all of that is going to be over all of that is going to change you have to know it in your heart and believe it okay 
I want you to wake up every morning and feel lighter on your feet as if you can taste the money. You can smell the money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wake up in the morning feeling like a fucking millionaire. These brilliant ideas that are coming to you, you need to understand that they are blessings and it's time for you to act on it and move on it, Divine Feminine. Do you understand me? It is time for you to get yourself grounded, okay? Well-deserved rewards are coming to you from you get, getting yourself rooted and, and grounded. Stop focusing on being an old, cracked-ass egg, okay? Stop worrying about that. Stop focusing on what was broken and weld a new dream. Manifest greatness, all right? Take your mind off of this bullshit, all right? That's exactly what the fuck they is. Bullshit. Leave them alone. Don't let nobody take your happiness. Divine Feminine, I love you. And you right. Don't give them your energy. Don't tell them nothing. Fuck them. I love y'all. If you, this video resonates, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to book a reading, go to the About tab, all right? Click Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Book the reading. Choose either Instagram, which the link is under my booking on the About tab. Or you can take my email, scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can send me a message on Google Hangouts for the video reading. If you do not want a video reading, there is an additional $10 additional fee. All right? For direct personal private upload to youtube please keep in mind you will not be able to interact with me before and after the video okay like you would be able to do on a personal live video okay so keep that in mind if this video resonates and you want to give a love donation you can feel free to do so the description for my paypal is in the description and in the about tab peace love and light i love y'all